Hey there, lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and I want to talk to you today about RAD, or possibly RAD.TV. Uh, RAD TV, I guess, is the official name. This is the website here behind me, as you can see. And why I want to talk about RAD is basically it is the only known media app coming for PS Viewer 2 that supports PS Viewer 2. It's coming very soon, actually. I meant to talk about this yesterday on the podcast, but it completely slipped my mind as a topic, so I want to go into it now a little bit. There is a lot of questions around us, and in fact, it was this post on Redis that kind of reminded me and got me thinking about it more and looking into it a bit more. It's from this user on Redis, Johnny USA 2 k 3 He says, do not dot rad. I don't know what that dot rad reference is about, but he's, he's advising people against this app. And his reason is because he was a member of their Discord for a year, defended them against people who were impatient because apparently they've been in development for this rad TV app for ages on PS4 through there was a lot of it's coming soon it's nearly done it's nearly done and then months and months and months will go by um, but now it's been officially approved allegedly by Sony it's coming out on the second I think of September so just days away unless something changes uh, but today this fella got kicked out of the discord because he complained about crypto so that's very unusual you might think why would that <laughs> get you kicked out Apparently, Rad TV has got like a unique model in terms of how you subscribe and what you get when you do subscribe. You can pay monthly fees normally, I think, like $5 a month or something like that. We'll get into that in a sec. But if you want to pay like a once-off payment and then not have to worry about fees, you have to buy like an NFT, which is a non non-fungible or fungible token. I never learned how to pr like pronounce that word, fungible. Uh, but that's that weird NFT f craze that was, you know, going around for a while there a few years ago, and it seems to have died off, but they're doing this. And it's like, you know, mint it. You mint one here, and it allows you to sell it if you're finished with this. It's kind of confusing. It's a weird system. From If you're like me and you don't really know anything about crypto or NFTs, it's baffling that they would use this method. But whatever. Uh, so he complained about the crypto, about how the system works and how you risk overpaying by switching from so many crypto coins or whatever. Uh, this got him kicked out. His message is deleted. And when he asked why, his reply that he got was, this is not the rad energy we want. And he got kicked. Uh, so it seems like they're a little desperate to sell some crypto subscriptions. And me complaining about the system was hurting their business. And then he gives some choice words for the people at rad. Uh, you lost me as a customer because this is not the energy I want either. I like that little closing line. It's a little bit dramatic. I love it. A little bit of drama on or slash PSVR. I want to go over this tweet as well where they kind of explain what the hell is going on because I couldn't really wrap my head around this just from reading their homepage. It's like a Netflix type of thing where you get access to like lots of videos and streaming content and whatever, but you can also use your files. So if you have your own files, you can sideload into this app however that side loading feature is locked behind a subscription plan you cannot do that for free which to me is absolutely like a fucking silver bullet you killed it for me like i am no interest at all personally not to say other people wouldn't you know but for me it wouldn't be worth it because i've got big screen vr on pc thanks to the pc adapter i can access it that way so i don't need it but other people obviously who wouldn't have pc access this is literally their only option if they want to watch you know 3D movies on Blu-ray or whatever in their headset. Uh, so this is what they were saying in their tweets. So it got approved, etc., etc. So let me go into more details. The launch day is September the 2nd. Uh, day 1 features, you go down here, but it's more interesting to me. People asking them questions and they answer them uh, for more. Yeah, so this guy here says, if it's a subscription to sideload, forget it. One-time purchase or we're out. You have the option for a one-time purchase by picking up a Stream Pass NFT. There's also a traditional option for a monthly slash yearly recurring subscription via debit slash credit payments. So there's no way to buy the one-off payment with traditional, you know, debits or credit payments, which is strange to me. I don't. This is because, like, I don't understand how NFTs work. So they must be benefiting somehow by getting people to buy the NFT. I don't really understand how, because I don't understand how it works. But it's weird. I don't know how to get an NFT. I don't know how, what the difference is between buying an NFT and just giving them fucking, you know, whatever it is, $50, $60, whatever the price is for the subscription. This guy, Dick, <laughs> Dick Applehead, 
It says normal people want a simple transaction for a product. I pay you, you give me the product. Simple, no rentals, no subscriptions, no buying some weird digital investment crap that no one understands. And thank you for saying that, Dick Applehead, because I certainly don't understand it. Uh, just take my money and give me your product. You guys are blown. And then there's other people very excited about it. Some people seem to think it's like scam e, you know? But at the end of the day, it's been approved by Sony, so I'm not sure how scammy it can be. But I think there's a lot of people who are just, when they see crypto, when they see NFT, they're immediately wary of it. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of wary of it too. Mostly because I don't understand it. Not because I think it's a scam, but you know, maybe it is, I don't know. But I just feel like it's weird, you know, strange and alien to me. So now if you want to, if you want to subscribe, you click here, introducing Rad Premium. And let's say I want to purchase a membership, but this is what I was looking for here. It basically shows you what you get with basic and what you get with premium. So basic, which I assume means free, access to over 3000 experiences from the world's top brands, a little bit vague. So this includes free live television, free on demand, free cross platform support. What does that mean? Free exclusive new features, also a bit vague. Uh, and of course you pay premium then, which is now $4.99 per month or $3.99 per month billed annually at $47.88 per year. You will get premium live TV, premium on demand. And here's where this is the key one, I think, side loading. And they've got a little asterisk here beside these bottom four ones. Now, usually when you see an asterisk like this, it means on the bottom of the screen, you'll see an explanation for why that asterisk is there. However, there's no such thing on this page that I can see. So I don't know why there's a little asterisk there or what that means. But side loading is what a lot of people I think would want for PSVR 2, that they can play their own content through this app because Sony won't. Sony didn't provide the means to do it themselves. Rad air, but you gotta pay. You gotta pay like a monthly subscription or you do the NFT thing, which I don't know how much that costs. If I want to buy that pass, I don't know how much it is. Actually, like, let's try and find out. Mint me a pass. I'm gonna have to make, oh wait, here we go. Mint details. You must have a Web3 wallet connected. Don't know what that is. Sale live now. How many NFTs do you want? I don't know. Shouldn't I just want one for myself? The mint details. So the price is 0 0.25 Ethereum. I think that's what that means. I'm gonna try and look up and see if I can get a, like a conversion for that, for what that is. Okay, so that's 62. US dollars, it seems, if I'm understanding this correctly, for a once off payment, $62. So I don't I don't get it. I don't know what they get out of this Ethereum shit or the um, NFT angle. Total available. Oh, so there's a limited. It's a limited amount. So there's less than 10,000 NFTs and resale royalties, 30%. So if you do resell it on again, they get a cut. So that's what that's what the benefit is for them. Limited to less than 10,000 people or maybe the first, the initial total was 10,000. So not everyone can own us permanently because there's only like 9,347 of those NFTs available. So the perks you guess, if you do have it, those lifetime premium subscription to Rad TV. We share our royalties 70, 30 with creators on a minutes watched basis. 70% of NFTs resale royalties go to creators on Rad TV, 21% for creators, 9% for Rad TV access premium movies and TV content, and first access to drops in the future. Okay, <sighs> so it's limited. It's limited. So they really don't want, to, like, there is an option technically to do the once-off payment, but if there's any amount of serious interest, like these, these will vanish pretty quick, you would imagine, if, like, it becomes a popular thing, and then you're relying on the subscriptions, the monthly subscriptions, or annual subscriptions. Uh, but I didn't finish reading these, I'm sorry, I got distracted. So side loading the big one for me. You also get custom RSS feed support for videos and HCAP, whatever that means, mobile server support and UPNP media renderer castings. That's all over my head, except for side loading. So yeah, RAD TV, I mean, it's not exactly big screen VR, you know, it's not exactly like big screen is free. You can play whatever the hell you want. Now there is a, like a, an option for you to rent movies within big screen and stuff like that. I understand that Rad, Rad TV needs to make money as well. Obviously they're not a charity, but just the thoughts of, you know, having to pay a premium subscription to play my own content through their app is a bit of a hard pill to swallow. Maybe if it was like a you know, once off payment, that was none of this NFT nonsense. I don't want any business personally. I don't want any of that business myself. 
I don't want to have to have a fucking crypto wallet, web, web three crypto wallet. Absolute nonsense to me. It's all gobbledygook, you know? That's the part that's hard to swallow, you know? If sideloading was included in the basic, then fine. I have no problem with this at all, even with the NFTs and shit like that. I don't know if they'll change this. I don't know if based on feedback, when it does come out and people like realize they can't play their own stuff without a subscription, maybe there'll be a bit of backlash and maybe they'll change their model around to include that in the basic one. That kind of would make a lot of people happier, I think. But as it is right now, they're literally the only choice on PSVR 2 to watch stuff, for, to watch media, basically, through your PSVR 2. So yeah, let me know what you think about Rad TV, your thoughts on this. Have you been looking forward to this? Have you been waiting in the wings? Are you going to get your minted NFT stream pass? But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this. Just an interesting thing to keep an eye on. Uh, before I end the video, let me thank my channel members whose names are on the screen as I speak. They are the following. They bought my NFTs, my non-fungible tokens. Muzz, no one knows. Plank71, esports commentator for hire. Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid. Pete Hawkins, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Lone Wolf Vior, Aced, Mr777, Geza, and Minus. Thank you very much for that support. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you also to Decepticon for letting me use his music. In all of my videos, you can check him out in the description, Decepticon.com. But that is it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and moist.